Like you can't look at your primary residence as like an investment, so to speak, yeah. because it doesn't, you know, it doesn't cash flow. There's no tax advantages like I have with the short term rental. That's when I really started diving deep into real estate. You know, now I'm hooked. You know, I love it. I'm like, oh my God, this is great. Like, how can I do my next one? You know, what are the options? What's on the table? So you're really brand new, less than a year ago. We're diving yeah. into it. We start looking in home is Tampa. When you went in, I'm curious whether you do it in your backyard or whether you do it across the country, you really have to get things dialed in and set up pretty much the same now outside of some of the management decisions. But when you decided, when you were choosing your location, you decided to stay close to home. What was that decision based on? I think it was more of a comfort level thing for me. I wanted to be somewhere where I could, you know, kind of micromanage the process. I know the area and Tampa, especially within the last five years has seen explosive growth, not only in real estate, but just in like the business sector, everything that's coming here, travel, tourism, everywhere I look, something new is popping up, growing. And so I felt like there was a lot of security in the market here too, regardless of everything that's going on in real estate right now, housing prices are not going to go down from where they are. So if I, if I come in now, you know, not only will I get that tax savings, but I will see appreciation on the property too.